Well, yeah, I mean, I was actually, for the first time, really pursuing being in a band full time, you know. I went to university for a few years until I realised I was done with, you know, being, you know, in the whole, uh, you know, the dead end of education as far as I was concerned. Yeah. Um, so I quit and I moved to London and I was in a band full time. But before that, I remember, I guess, you know, Guns N' Roses came out with Appetite for Destruction. There was Nirvana, Nevermind. Um, all that stuff was pretty huge at the time that I left my my college, I guess you call it in America. Yeah. University. Yeah. And it was probably about 92 Somewhere in 92 or 93. I was just starting to get into heavier stuff. Um, I was really into The End of Silence by the Rollins Band in that yeah. moment. And coincidentally, Tool ended up touring with them. Basically, I, I was uh, very excited about being in a band. It was A lot of it was more in my kind of uh, taste spectrum, you know. Um, so when I moved to London, I'd already been playing with Peach. Um, we were actually a little more relevant than we may have been a few years before, and our mixture was um, kind of indie. I was into a lot of that shoegazing stuff that was going on. Yeah, um, It was more of like a, a mixture between indie and, and heavy. Like I was into the heavier stuff and a couple of the other guys, like the, the kind of more My Bloody Valentine kind of thing. So it actually accidentally kind of worked at the time a little bit. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, we didn't have a great success, but... Yeah, it was uh, it was exciting to be creating something that you believed in that was very organic from, you know, the four of us, and it actually was in a way relevant because if it had been ten years before, it would have had to be one or the other. You know, sure, right, right. So I basically got a call. Um, I got told that there was a, a call at my flat. I think I was actually doing a gig with Peach. Um, you got to call the guys from Toolback. And uh, at this point, they'd been really courteous to us as friends. I mean, that's a, a bit more of a backstory, but we'd done a couple of shows supporting them in London. You know, when they did their London shows, they asked Peach to support them. So, um, and we'd also gone to LA with the help of some of their people and done four shows in LA as oh, Peach, okay. which was incredibly exciting. You could still smoke on a plane back then. So I remember <laughs> sitting in the back smoking cigarettes all the way to LA and ordering drinks. <laughs> Just all of the four of us were excited about it. Um, so anyway, I got the call. Uh, I called them back, quite nervous. You know, I'm like, what do they, what do they want? You know, and it was Maynard, and he, he, uh, or it was, I think it was Maynard. But he, they were like, we'd like you to come out and uh, audition to be in the band. You know, and it was a little too much really to yeah. absorb and take in. And uh, I think right on that first call, I basically immediately just said, oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. You know. Um, out of total fear, you know, yeah. just intimidation. Um, again, the details are a little sketchy at this point in time, but yeah. Um, so anyway, I said, I, I essentially, I said, uh, thanks very much. It's really nice of you, but I don't think so. You know, I'm too, way too busy here. Um, we sort of, uh, my brother was friends with the guy that signed to Matt Marshall. They met okay. randomly in America years before, but they both ended up in, in the music industry yeah. in, working for record companies. So when Matt signed Tool, we heard about Tool. Almost the first people in England got to get the demo tape. So when they came over and doing really well, we actually took them out to the pub and stuff and hung out with them. And that's how we first met and became friends. It was very non-musical in a way. Yeah. Sort of showed them around town or whatever. So yeah, I, 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 I turned it down at first. And then uh, basically my brother, I told my brother somehow, and he literally got on the tube and came over to my flat and just started like yelling at me. I was like, <laughs> you're out of your mind, you know. I mean, a part of it was that I was very determined. I was writing music with this band. I'd left university to pursue this, to be in a band. And I was very committed to it as well. So that was part of the reason that I wasn't going to, gonna, you know, just suddenly just get up and leave. Like sort of a, almost like a, for a moral reason, you know. Yeah. And, uh, just the integrity of what we were doing. But um, he, my brother said, look, this is crazy, man. You've got to do this. You've got to try it. Like, you're not even... He's like, what does it matter, you know, even if you, uh, even if you fail? Like, what a great thing to be asked to do and you have to go and try. So yeah. I didn't in any way feel musically uh, on a level with them, you know. And, you know, I mean, I wasn't 
things weren't amazing, but I was pretty happy to be in this zone of like not being stuck in like this endless thing of education and like. Um, you know, whatever I was learning, English and history and Russian studies, you know, like, where am I going, you know, and all I was doing was obsessed with music. So I was in a happy place in London, you know, I was like on the dole, I was like, yeah, I'm finally one of the people, you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I just, uh, part of it was a bit of a shock, you know, I thought we would get, we were really going somewhere. I was actually, I got to clarify this actually, Peach had finished by that stage and we'd started a new band, I believe our, our singer Simon had had left to go and he was a geography uh, professor. Oh wow! <laughs> and okay. uh, he'd he'd sort of like packed it in, and we'd ended up me and Ben Derling, my guitar player, who I was at school with. Um, we ended up creating a new band called Sterling, and we'd actually been offered a record deal by Beggars Banquet, so we, it was quite exciting at the time, and it was new. So that was another quite intense thing that we'd actually got somewhere, and we'd been offered a deal. And I'd uh, now I've been offered this thing, you know, so I just, it was, it was almost too easy just to say, no, I can't, you know, I'm really, like, right. okay, I've got a deal, you know, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, yeah. But my brother really was like this, because he knew how much it meant to me and how much I liked the band. And, and uh, so I had the, I had the, you know, difficult thing of uh, basically calling them back. And saying, uh, would it be all right if I changed my mind, you know, <laughs> and come out, which everybody will tell you is not something that would normally work, you know. People are like, no, 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 you've, you know, you made your choice. Yeah. Or they'd already have moved on, you know. Anyway, they they were really cool and they said yes. So that, you know, that's pretty much how that's I awesome. ended up coming out, yeah.